Hello everybody and welcome to Climate Zoo in game for a change. So I've been doing a bunch of speculation and a few people have commented wanting to see a bit more actual in-game um, footage. So um, I'm back in the incredibly expansive DLC zoo which has created a great circuit around the whole map. It has joined here with the Oceania pack connecting tropical and arid and whatever the next DLC is I'll either ta I'll take some back up here to the very back of the map and I'll take some into its um, fairly empty center so um, yeah Oceania pack came out on the 19th of September it is now the 8th of October at least um, in Australia, that is. And, um, yeah, I, I will admit I'm incredibly late to actually showcasing the Oceania pack in-game. So, I thought, before my holidays are done, might as well actually get in a bit. So, let's just do a bit of a showcase. So, we've got a few prefab buildings here. So, just a few Oceanian buildings and staff facilities. Um, so, we've got the Keeper Heart Quarantine... Research center, yes. Um, staff, veterinary, and workshop and trade center are here, and just a couple of buildings here. Um, yeah, the pack is very diverse in the case of its um, plants and its scenery. So, and of course the animals. So also there's a bench and a bin and a, and a uh, table. I didn't put the restaurant down, but um, and again, you can check it out yourself if you got the pack. Going on to our first animal, we have the walkthrough exhibit animal, the spectacle flying fox. Now I just need to get one so we can have a look. Oh, perfect. Oh, you've just taken off. Okay. But we can get a good look at this guy in flight and landing again. So I'll, the detail on the spectacle flying fox has increased since the release of Twilight Pack with the Egyptian fruit bat. You can see the hair much better on the flying fox, as well as the veins in the wings. You can see that very well. And it's cool to have a diurnal flying fox for a change. As, um, yeah, fruit bats, like the Egyptian fruit bat, um, are primarily crepuscular and nocturnal. Oh, I love how it bites the... <laughs> love how it bites the mesh there. But, um, yeah, we've got plenty of bats in here. Um, how many exactly? We have 24 bats. That's quite the number. <laughs> um, here you can also see one of the bat signs, as well as information boards for the exhibit. And there is one more sign. Where'd I put that? Uh, where did I put that? I mean, we'll see it eventually. I think I actually put it out here. And I'm wrong. <laughs> anyway, so let's go into the Zootedia to have a bit of a squeeze. So we are looking for the spectacled flying fox. So they are endangered. Um, and of course from Oceania, natural habitat. Um, continent of Oceania, region, Australia, Papua New Guinea, and a little bit of Indonesia. So they're a pretty diverse, um, diversely populated animal. Species data, 5 to 35, dominant, do dominant males claim more valuable roosts and more females. And the mating system is polygamous. Polygamous. Yeah, that's better. Um, and they live for 16.5 years. Research status, there are all the usual items. And yeah, they just have better food. Sharing space with other species because there are no species to share space with. Um, that's Molly Wild Ass. Um, so I guess we'll start with... Okay, the first animal I put in this zoo, uh, at least this area, is the quokka. Um, so a little happy marsupial of Rotnest Island here in Plant Zoo. So instead of a tree kangaroo, we instead did get the little quokka, which has gained um, a great reputation over the last few years with many people taking selfies of the quokkas at Rotnest Island and at them having a great smile under that. Uh, on that face, there's that sign, 
um, displays beautifully. Yeah, they're very cute little marsupials, and it's great to get um, some more diverse options for our marsupials in Plant Zoo, as they're not exactly an obvious pick. And um, I remember I saw my first quokka in 2012, and I had no idea what it was. But um, yeah, quokka in Plant Zoo, and they are, yeah, they're very cute. Small little um, relatives of wallabies and kangaroos. Yeah, just very nice to see. Um, it is quite late at night, so I don't really want to spend too much time. Something I did spend a lot of time on is getting 80 little penguins in this habitat, because when I watched the launch trailer for the DLC, um, yeah, I just wanted to sort of recreate a scene, but one, one of the shots where all these little penguins were just coming out of the water at once. So I just put a whole bunch in this enclosure and you can see them all right now. So we'll go into mirroring and yeah. So we've got a few different variations. So I believe this is the cyan back. Yeah, cyan back with white belly feathers. That's also cyan, right? Oh no, blue back. Yeah, very blue back. And there's also the dark blue. Is this one. No greys, which are indicative of the little penguins that live in Australia, but um, I guess they are little blue penguins to be more specific. So um, yeah, I've got a lot in here, and of course like all penguins, they deep dive, and a couple are doing it right now. It, there were so much, so many more when I first put them in. Um, and they have, of course use the platform float. There's a bit of glitch happening. Um, I was trying to get them to you like get the platform floats into this habitat and it wasn't until I restarted the map that they actually worked because I had to keep digging um, to get them to work but um, eventually when I reload the world I realized that it was just a little bit of a glitch and there was no actual problem but um, yep, so, oh no I did put a restaurant in my mistake um, so before we get to the last two animals I'll have a Little squeeze at the scenery, so we've got these cabbage trees, the volcanic rocks that you can uh, glow in the dark, so it creates some very interesting um, scenery dec decorations there. We've got the king fern. Um, I have got all four kiwi statues, as well as the actual animal statues, the quokka, penguin, kiwi, and Tasmanian devil. We've got a few ropes, some skirts of leaves and thatch different thatch roof pieces which come in almost every height imaginable um, we got the uh, what's it called the um, the woven bark um, pieces we've also got these free plants that came in the update so the coastal pig face the sand sedge and the kaha 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 uh, a few other pieces we've got some tiki tiki scenery a little brazier there um, some little decorations here, some oars, or yeah, tribal oars, a tiki torch, which is basically this packed lamppost, some wooden flints, as well as some netting pieces, some volcanic rock blocks, some driftwood columns, a drum barrel, um, some flower lays, yeah, I think I said plenty of netting. The silver fern, a iconic plant of New Zealand, um, which doesn't look to be too silver right now. Um, yeah. Well, oh, oh, hang on, it's the underside. Okay, the top screen, underside silver. Okay. Um, got the fence, fence post, some driftwood flooring, some canoes, uh, some surfboards. What were these called? Um, the roof toppers. Oh, I thought they had a specific name. Um, we've got the animal signs, some buoys, some decorative panels, a door. Yeah, we've got. <laughs> There's a lot in this DLC. We've also got this volcanic path, which is volcanic rock path, which is um, very nice to see. Uh, I'll save you for last because you're the cheapest. Um, so in this habitat, we've got the kiwi, which is. Somewhere. Where are they? Oh, I hear it. Oh, here you are. So we've got one of the kiwis in this habitat. Um, this is Yerl Peril. Um, it would be cool if we got some Maori names. 
as Gil Perel sounds like a name given to many of the Australian athletes. But Kiwis are, of course, not Australian. They are from New Zealand, so Maori would be a lot more appropriate. But um, I'm sure that can be changed later. I'll listen to that. Um, but when I built this habitat, I built it a lot smaller, which is why you got a difference between like the thematic Oceanian fence at the front. Um, so, got that there. Now I just had to extend it, so I just used the wood instead. But, um, yeah. Kiwi is an incredible animal to have in the game, finally, and it does almost complete our Rathite roster. We just need the Rhea, and then we got the whole family. But, um, yeah. I haven't seen a Kiwi in the real life, but I really hope to see one eventually, once I go to New Zealand, um, potentially. Yeah. That's very cool idle animation. And like a couple of animals, it does have a piebald variant. So look out for that in your trade center. And on to easily my favorite animal of the DLC, the Tasmanian Devil. So um, this guy just here. Oh, yep, another Yurikaril, who is actually the largest Tasmanian Devil in here. And yeah, I think you can see why this is my favorite. It is nigh on perfect for a Tasmanian Devil, and they also have great variation in the patterns. It's great to see. Um, the only thing I would change about the Tasmanian Devil is giving it more realistic sounds, as the sounds that we have um, here, I've heard Tasmanian Devils a few times, and they do not sound quite like this. So giving them a few more of their actual sounds would be um, a good step in the right direction. But overall, model and animations wise, Tasmanian Devil is 100% for me. 10 out of 10. No more 10 to be had here. So, yeah, it is easily my favourite owl. Fact is, I've been wanting it for years, and it's finally here. I've actually held the Tasmanian Devil too, by the way. It was a very cool experience to meet one of these animals up close. But, um, yeah, Client Zoo has done them very well. Just the sounds that need to be changed, and yeah, it's 10 out of 10. But, um, yeah, oh, it is very late for me. And, um, yeah, just a quick little showcase. Not very enthusiastic, but given it's, what time is it? 9.40 in the evening. Um, yeah, I think I'm done <laughs> for the day. Uh, I, had, I did record another video earlier today that will probably be going up for this one. But, um, yeah, if you have enjoyed the Oceania pack, um, let me know what your thoughts of the DLC are in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video, whenever that will be. Um, but, yeah, when it happens, it happens. And I will be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.